Hello guys, welcome back to my channel where the makeup and sass keeps you coming back for more. It's Julie here and today I'm just going to be bringing you guys a quick Sephora haul. Um, you know, it's the new year, I needed some new products, wanted to try out a couple of new things. So I've purchased a couple of products, broke the bank, y'all know how it is. Um, so I just kind of want to share with you guys which products I got. Some of these are oldies but goodies, so if you kind of just want to see what I got, um, stay tuned but before all of that happens please don't forget to go ahead and just give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below as well as follow me on both instagram and twitter both of those are underscore it's jilly now let's jump into these products y'all So first and foremost, I did get this fantastic little kit from Sunday Riley. This is their Wake Up With Me kit. It's their complete morning routine. And um, I have been really obsessed with these like Sunday Riley kits. Um, back in December, I did purchase the like acne kit and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, some of these products like the Good Jeans, I've already tried the ceramic clay slipper love that as a cleanser like both of those are staples in my current skincare routine and the other four products in here I've never tried before this does retail for $95 however this is about like $188 worth of products and I feel like all of these are essentially full-size products except for the pink drink and the ceramic cleanser so let's just open her up um, let me tell you what comes in here is the ceramic slip clay cleanser love that the pink drink re uh, firming resurfacing essence I've never tried it before so I'm incredibly excited um, there's also the CEO serum which is their 15% vitamin C brightening serum they also have the CEO glow which is vitamin C and turmeric face oil they have the good genes lactic acid treatment told y'all I love that and then they have this auto correct eye contour cream I definitely needed an eye cream which is kind of why I got this I wanted to try out the pink drink um, so if this was just kind of a great buy for me let me try to open this oh god okay so again super cute box you open it here are all of the products in here I am incredibly excited to try all of these products out um, if y'all have just been watching my channel honestly for the past year I really really love Sunday Riley skincare products like for me her products really really work on my face which is why I keep buying them even though they are just so incredibly expensive but I am really really excited to add all of these products to my morning skincare routine because I feel like my morning skincare routine was lacking a little bit so I feel like these will really zhuzh it up and then another Sunday Riley product that I got was their um, a plus high dose retinoid serum I have I recently incorporated the retinol into my skincare routine when I bought the other kit the acne kit because they had the retinol in there I've always been scared to try retinol however I really really like the retinol from Sunday Riley I can't even say that I've never tried any other ones but I really really like this this one I got the biggest size that they sell and this one does retail for $122 um, literally I'm telling you Sunday Riley will break your bang but she's worth every single penny so this is what she looks like she is huge you do get 50 mls of product in here let me try to take it out without breaking it so you get 1.7 fluid ounces and then I think the $88 bottle you might get a little less than one fluid ounce. I, like I said, I'm really, really obsessed with this. I usually use this at night. Retinoids are supposed to be used at night and if you're using retinoids, you should be wearing sunscreen. Just gonna tell y'all that right now. Please, please, please use sunscreen. If you use any of the Sunday Riley serums, like their retinoid, the lactic acid, you must use like sunscreen. Just please do it um another skincare kit that i got which is apparently a shambles is this aqua hydration set from um belief 
So they came out with all of these aqua hydration things last towards the end of last year and I was really confused about which one I wanted to try and then for the holiday they ended up having this set and then I went everywhere trying to find this set and I couldn't find it and then finally I was like why didn't you just order this online? So I ended up adding it to my cart obviously and I got it. This retails for $38 but it is about $57 worth of product in here. Um, so in here you get the moisturizer, the True Cream Aqua Balm and I know Jackie Ina was really like um, promoting that particular product so I'm ex I'm incredibly excited to try it you get their aqua bomb jelly cleanser you get the aqua bomb hydrating toner as well as the eye cream which is supposed to be moisturizing so let's just get these little bad boys out some of them are already trying to come out so this is the toner the toner is quite small but I already have like essences that I use more than toners so I'm not particularly bothered by the size of this and I didn't really think I'd use the toner that much. Um, I really bought this for the, the, the facial cream, this one, and for the eye cream. <laughs> so this is going to be a full size aqua bomb. This by itself I think retails for $38. So again, this kit is a really, really great buy. Um, and just like another little side note for you guys, um, this is like one of those gel formula moisturizers and I am going to be doing a comparison video for all of the gel moisturizers that are out on the market because I have tried quite a few of them ranging in like pretty wide range of um, prices. So I'm going to try to do, once I use this and I like get a good feel for it, I'm going to do a nice little review video for you guys um, to show to you know tell you guys whether or not you should be spending your money on these aqua moisturizers um, here is the eye cream again the eye cream is itty 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 bitty um, I couldn't even tell you how much you get in here oh you get like five mls this is like for one week <laughs> and then here is the cleanser which I think is a pretty good size so yeah um, so moving on from skincare, we're going to jump into two little hair care products that I got. Um, like I've already mentioned, I did recently bleach my hair. So my hair lady told me to buy some of the Olaplex products to put in my hair. And I got Olaplex number three and number six. I was going to get the entire Olaplex line. However, I have this other keratin product that I use in my hair which is really similar to the Olaplex like I can't remember which number it is so I didn't get it and I just figured I would buy these two um, products that you just leave in your hair because as of right now like I just have so many shampoos conditioners and like um, mask like hair mask like, I just didn't want to buy anymore so I just got the number three which is supposed to be the bond perfecter I think or it's the hair perfector sorry and it uh, repairs and strengthens all hair types and then I got the bond smoother which is number six and it's supposed to just be a leave-in reparative styling cream to reduce frizz nourishes and it protects your hair so those are the two little products that I got these bottles each cost like 28 bucks they are so tiny <sighs> disappointed Moving on to a couple of makeup products, I did end up buying this like Huda Beauty eyeliner, the like double sided eyeliner. It was on sale on Sephora so I was like whatever let me just get it you know. Um, I really don't have that many Huda Beauty things like at all and I'm really trying this year to give her brand a second chance. I never gave it a first chance but then she just did some shady things so I just you know saved my coins. But this is it, this is the double sided one so you have liquid liner on one side and then you have like a normal pencil twisty liner on the other side i did wear i am wearing the pencil eyeliner today and i will say it is extremely pigmented it is jet black and it's smooth um another product that i finally got my hands on i think this is going to be like really really sad but i finally ended up getting the nars blush in orgasm like how many years ago did this product come out and I finally got my hands on it I will say that I'm wearing it today 
I put it back in the box for you guys. But I did already try it. I love it. I think it's such a pretty blush. I'm so sad. It took me 50 years to get my hands on this blush, but you guys know what she looks like. Super gorgeous. Like, come on. You can't go wrong with NARS Orgasm. And the fact that it's called Orgasm, you know, like, I just love that. <laughs> and then last two products that I have here are gonna be from the Sephora line. Um, this is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. I got it in the shade 55, 57Y, and I'm currently wearing it now on my face. I will tell you guys this shade is a little too dark for me, and I think I'm gonna switch it out for another shade if I end up liking this foundation. Um, so stay tuned to watch my review for that foundation. The review will go out before this video, so I'll link it somewhere up above. And then the Last product that I have to show you guys is the Sephora Translucent Setting Powder. This one is $15, the foundation is $20, and um, I'm also trying that one out. So yeah, those are all of the good little products that I got my hands on. I think I got a lot of really, really good deals. So if you guys are looking to try out skincare, I really recommend buying the little kits because they are really, really, like they're really good deal for your buck and I think you will then then like you'll be able to try on a lot of products without spending a lot of money so to say but yeah that's all for me today guys if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as follow me on both Instagram and Twitter both of those are underscore it's Jilly and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching